Well, welcome back, everyone. Criminal Nurture here. So we had a bad bite there. Bad luck. It happens. Um, and I ran it out, and we zombified. So, uh, so we're gonna start again. We're just gonna do a hardcore survival again. And we're gonna do basically the same plan as last time. Um, because I still oh, we're gonna go the slightly opposite direction this time. Is what we're going to do. We'll use my this one, and we'll take out prone to illness. We'll put in. Slow healer, get our extra two points, which we will take as dexterous, why not? Alright, we'll try again, we'll try not to do anything stupid this time. That was a really, uh, really lousy bite on my part. Just goes to show what happens when you don't focus. We're gonna go down the um, the other way when we got to that one crossroads that I told you that I you could go south or you could go to the right. You're gonna go to the right this time, but let's take that book, I guess. Hopefully, we can get there a little bit faster. Oh, there's a a thing. Got a thing. The bowl. We'll take the butter knife. This stuff. This, another butter knife. I guess I'll take the mouse trap, why not? There's another mouse trap over here, wasn't there? Yeah. Alright, house, I need you to give me something to work with here. Bag of some variety. Take pretty much anything right now. I think I'm being cavalier. There are never any zombies in your starting house. So that's why I was not worried so much about it. I don't really know what, where I am in town. I have trouble placing me. Oh, I think we're right next to Courtland Medical. Yeah, we're in close. We're right next to Qu Courtland Medical. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. It's a bunch of boxes, boxes of nails this early. I'll take them. Get rid of this panel. Yep, court the medical right there. All right, we're definitely going in there before we hit the road. nothing else we can get a first aid kit and not have to worry about a lot of our first aid issues for a long time and if we're really lucky there'll be something good in there all right no alarm please please no alarm Dead body. Are you Mr. Courtman? Oh, look at that. Look at all that. I'll come back to that in a second. Alright, just give me a first aid kit. I don't want to deal with all this loose stuff. Just want a first aid kit. I like that. There you go. Let's see what else we can fit in here. Some more bandages. Suture Nito's already there. Tweezers are there. Put another one of these guys in here. Alcohol wipes. Beta blockers, bandages, painkillers. Anything else we need? Take some more beta blockers. I guess that's pretty much it. Alright, so 
I feel like I'm required to take some of this stuff. So we'll take the shotgun. Can I fit that in there? No. And I guess I'll take these bullets. Not gonna take the pistol. Alright. Let's go upstairs. Need a bag. Even a garbage bag right now would be good. Best. No, no, no. Un oh, that duffel bag. There you go. Alright, so this. All of this, basically. Not the water bottles. Or the knives. There you go. Aw, oh, man. Lost it all. Crap. Alright, and these guys. Boom. Cool. Not overloaded anymore. For the moment. There's a garbage bag, too. Cooking pot I should take. Another kitchen knife I'll take. Canned corn. Canned opener. Another bowl. Probably leave that water bottle. Um, we're going to be running around for a long time, so I'm just going to eat this ice cream. We're not going to have a, uh, like a stable place to sit to get that ice cream in the refrigerator for a while. So as nice as it is to have Corporate and Medical, which is one of my favorite places to have a base, we're just going to hit the road. Got to do some. We got some running to do, as you probably remember from last time. All right, I'm gonna poke my head in here real quick. Just doing quick checks here. See if there's anything I can't live without. Like this pie. Mmm, pie. Probably shouldn't have eaten that actually, probably should have kept it. Oh well. Expert electricity. Fishing for beginners, yeah, not even gonna keep, not even picking that book up. Advanced cooking. I'm being way too cavalier here. Feeling like I'm in a hurry. It's a hurry of my own making. Guess I should take this carpentry book. Oh, missed this. Oh, nothing useful in it. Okay. Let's run. They have sprinting, right? Yes, they do. This is actually not a very good um, setup. Like the 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 stuff I took is actually not that great because um, this is a a build I built for the CDDA challenge which is all about just trying to stay alive for a short period of time. <laughs> and that's not what we're doing, we're trying to stay alive for a long period of time, so we don't have any of the boosts for, uh, like, carpentry or metalworking or anything. So it's probably dumb of me to retake that, but whatever. It's done now. Should take some, uh, beta blockers. Oh, that didn't work. Guess I can't do that while I'm running. Keep us from getting too worn out if we're taking beta blockers every time uh, as much as we can. Keep the panic down. You get worn out faster when you're panicked. I might try and get into the police station if it's looking even remotely feasible. Which we won't know until we get closer. The zombie situation is not looking terrible right now. A lot of release businesses down here. Clearly, Muldrow was not doing terribly well before this zombie apocalypse hit. Is this the police station? Yes. Alright.
Come on, break. Alright, so we're just gonna do this. I don't really feel like messing with the rest of that stuff, so we're just gonna try and slip our way in and out without bothering anybody too much. Hopefully we can find the armory. I'm not really sure where it is. It's outside? That's outside. It's in here. Alright, shotgun shells. I'm um, not going to take that. More shotgun shells. I guess I'll take the pistol bullets. I should take a pistol, right? Be the important right thing to do. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, never mind. Game just made the decision for me. I don't have space for it. All right, let's get out of here. Got what we came for. Whole bunch of shotgun shells. Run, run, run. So we're going to have to run down here a ways and then take a right, I believe, at the first major intersection. Hope I'm remembering that correctly because otherwise we're going to be running off into the wilderness, never to be seen again. Some pretty good stuff pretty fast. Shotgun's a good find. You can even turn it into a sawed off because we have a saw. Which is good. Lowers the range, increases the damage, but you never shoot a shotgun for very far in anyways. Also, I think it lowers its durability, but I have never, ever played a game where I have worn out the durability of a gun. Oh, now, dude, leave me alone. All right, so we're into the run section. Which is just miles and miles of open road. The occasional zombie stopping by to say hello. Not really sure how they would set it up to make it work, but it would be kind of neat if you could occasionally just come across a horde wandering down the highway. Um, but I feel like that would be hard to implement. But would give it that Walking Dead feel. Of course, putting vehicles on the road, even just broken down ones, would make a big deal. I know there's a mod out there that has vehicles in it. I haven't tried it, but I probably should at some point. I'm not actually... I don't really care that much about not having cars that you can drive. But it would be nice to have them in the game as just um, decoration, you know. Littering the roads, getting in the way causing choke points and zombies having to crawl over them. Those sorts of things. But there's always more, right? Every time you do the game type like this, there's always more features you can you can come up with to add. Man, I always forget how far this thing is down here. I'm hoping the run... Here we are. I'm hoping the run to the right here is not going to be as long as the one to the south that we did last time. Cause that was quite a quite a ways to get where we were going. Well, that first road has always been there. Pretty sure. So we're just gonna go down this way a little further. I'll check back in when we get where we're going. Okay. Got what I think is a new road here. And some barriers. So we're gonna go up this way. Although actually wasn't there a... I think there actually used to be something up here, but they probably have redone it now. Alright, so we got a diner. Is the star door gonna be unlocked? It is. Okay. Hey, free soda refills. Nice. Oh. Hello, sir. 
Actually, should probably switch to a knife as um, worn out as he is. It'll take him forever to kill anything with anything but a knife. Lots of food. Let's see if our water bottles need refilling. Actually, not as much stuff in here as I would have thought. Take the strawberry seeds, why not? Come back to this in a minute. Oh, hello. Rubber bands. Nothing on these storage cells, huh? This is outside. Yep. Anything in the trash? Nope. These are just the bathrooms, huh? Hopefully there's nobody in here. I've never actually seen a zombie in the stalls. I don't even know if it's possible, but I always open them to check. So nothing else, such a trash can over here, nothing, alright. Nothing else in there. Close, thank you. As we keep going up this road here, hopefully there's something up here. I was scared about uh, continuing to run down roads that don't go anywhere. We could continue going down the other road, which I think may actually be what we need to do. Oh, there's another road up there. What do we have here? Stop sign. Something down here. What is this? Some sort of warehouse or something? Car repair place? Somebody's throwing away dolls. I'm come back to all this. I'll do this again. I just want to run over it real quick. See if there's anything we can't live without. gas can anybody put it leave anything good in their locker nope trash can I don't know why I just said trash can this is gross ah okay that scared the crap out of me that was a legitimate um, bit of fear that, that got me right there. <laughs> Couple of sodas and a garbage bag. Okay, so that's that. Um, I think I'm gonna stop here. This is probably a little early. But I'm going to stop here anyways, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.